Hello, everybody. All right, let's just watch this. I haven't watched this video. I haven't watched any Gary in a while. Don't know if I'm missing them or or they haven't been existing. But here we go. See what's up. Hey, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck Happenings Here in Menden. Such. Anyway, um, nerves. <laughs> you know, really having a bad spell. Um, this deal. Uh, frankly, anyway, so I did do a few videos this week, so there is a lot of junk to look at. Uh, if you're in the mood, two hours of a fake Sagan video. Um, I did oh, a couple did of videos that. on this first um, website responding to comments, and I think they're pretty good in terms of political analysis kind of stuff. So, um, you know, one of them's been up for two days, I guess, and only has less than 20 views. <laughs> so that's kind of disappointing, but part of being on the internet is being disappointed. Um, you know, interacting with people, eh, often disappointing. So, anyway, <laughs> yeah, so at least in this program I can pause. I'll do that probably. Uh, so, um, the best place to, uh, you know, if you just go to the Do Not God channel now and then, at the little thing on the side there, you know, where I'm just watching. Are, uh, we'll just watch you, uh, it. What videos I did make on that channel and the fairness first one and the videos from this channel should also be linked there when I'm missing actually I gotta fix that so anyway just letting you know I mean they're pretty good I mean I did one on money you know and then two of them on the fairness first thing and then the fake Sagan response video yeah which um, in spite of him being um, uh, glib <laughs> disinterested who isn't glib? Um, there are some underlying political subjects that are sort of important um, subjects related to what's what's a functional approach to um, doing some good for the future you know and uh, Obviously, I'm just making the point that stacking your guns up against the wall probably isn't doing the future any good. But anyway, um, <laughs> you know, just I, I should do some more fake Sagan stuff, I suppose, just because it's such an easy target. Um, I should just well, I'll, I'll, I, I, I intend to finish doing the rest of his three hours. Um, but anyway, um, uh, but I'm not sure there's going to be much in it, and um, so there might not be much value in that. Uh, but I'll watch it first, <laughs> you know, take notes, and hope to reduce the amount of time required to uh, respond to any points being made. But the point oh, was, that's sort of a good online, idea. You know, so there wasn't much point. I don't know why it's so difficult for other people to play somebody else's video, pause it, and then talk. I just right. don't get this. I'm going to talk over the video. <laughs> I just uh, yeah. don't get how that works. I know, I right? To the actual points I was making. <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, he thinks we were agreeing about some things, and this, you know, he just got them all backwards, which was pretty funny. Um, so anyway, I don't know, you know, so... Um, this this whole subject again of um, is there any hope for communication among the people of planet Earth and to resolve uh, in some logical manner these differences that we have in our perception of reality and um, you know and, you know the, the draft physics um, channel is giving me a huge insight into just how difficult it is because these aren't necessarily even dumb people I mean these are people that have some interest in science and you know that I'm turning into trolls and they're just trolling you know they're they're bullshit. Yep, um, you're turning them into <coughs> totally trolls. unresponsive to the underlying argument being made. I mean, you can just make an, a, a simple argument that this is a shade of blue, you know, and, it's, and, you, and I can prove it. You know, I, it fits into that category. And because they've always called that green, you know, they just can't, you know, white. can't be bent to the fact that, okay, we mislabeled something. And, um, you know, we have to fix it. And people will not fix anything. No idea what you're um, talking about. And so that sort of gets to this religious argument because there's two kinds of religious kook, right? I mean, you can say there's kinds who were raised in it. They just didn't know any better. They never were exposed to enough of the um, alternative evidence. You know, they didn't. They didn't hit the hypocrisy. I guess is obvious. Is you know, it's like believing in Santa Claus. You know, I was raised in the South. You know, we didn't have a chimney. Um, you know, I had lots of easy reasons not to believe. You know, not to, to, to know this. They're just telling a story because it just didn't fit with the reality at all. Um, He's talking you know, about New Orleans. He was in New Orleans. Orleans all, this, as a kid. all the kind of obvious stuff that just doesn't really work. Or he was um, in New Jersey. And the same thing was almost like with religion, you know, because I did live in the South, kind of rural, swampy, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> you know, you'd, you'd walk out of church and you'd be hit with the humidity and the heat. You walk out of church. Bugs everywhere. Never and, went to you know, the church. All, what you know, are you just talking this, about? This teeming life thing going on, um, you know, and all of the carnage and stink and you know crap that it involves and you're saying well you know you just start asking like, why did god do that why did he do that what's that what's we don't need that mosquito i don't need that bug to god's exist. an underachiever um, yeah, obviously it starts to lose all relevance you know and so yeah so people don't have i guess these experiences bit of an um, underachiever give them enough pause you know to say well jeez do i really believe what they're saying did they really show me you know, you know when i went to church did they show me you know miracles did they do any magic tricks at all i mean did they even try just no. me 
with some didn't fancy poetries or you know pantomime or did they do anything really to convince me and they really didn't okay they mm -hmm. just read crap out of a book you know instead there that's the truth and it could have been a you know dr seuss book for all i care right i mean i know dr seuss wasn't god i know the characters weren't real um you know some kind of convincing but i knew they weren't real <laughs> you know and uh, you know, what's this why is this book special you know this babbly book um, they didn't really show me its special, you know, the specialness of the book, how the special Word of God book does something different than, you know, a recipe book. Uh, you know, Betty Crocker, you know, <clears throat> four box tops and, you know, <laughs> you get a free Betty Crocker book or something. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, so that's one kind of Christian who start off pretty lame, ah, forget it, I, you know, you know they, they figure out it ain't the truth. And if they don't figure out it ain't the truth, it's because somehow their environment just nurtured it so much. You know, and it just didn't show any contrast. You know, somehow their life, it worked out that way, that they just didn't see it all as hypocrisy and crap. You know, maybe enough innocent people weren't hit by lightning, you know, in their neighborhood. You know, maybe they just didn't see enough tragedy or something, you know, where, oh, shit, that looked pretty indiscriminate, frankly. I don't, I don't think that person got smited because they were evil or nasty or any of that shit. I think they got smited because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time and God just didn't give a shit. I mean, he didn't plan where the plane crashes, you know? There is uh, no God. Down, There's that, too. Make sure it hits the right people. It's all so imaginary, it all like Gary, so... <clears throat> no one's might be overthinking about, you know, it. Any, putting any protective coatings on anything. And then the people who do survive often, you know, the people who walk out of the building that collapses or something, some of them look like real players, you know, like they didn't deserve it because they're kind of shitty. You know, they cheated on his wife and did this and did that. You know, how come he's saved? <laughs> you know, he was a shithead. Um, anyway, so, you know, it just doesn't, has, there's no thing to do with it logically. You're just saying, okay, well, all right. So, so my point is that's one kind of Christian, right? That's the kind of bumbling human who just goes through life and they're not very smart and blah, 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 blah. And so they fall for this crap. You know, but fake Sagan's one of these other kind, right? Who, who, you know, pretends to be an intellectual in the sense, you know, I got a high IQ and I, you know, I'm a great artist and I'm a great this and I'm a great, you know, it's all these great things and, you know, he's one of these Renaissance type men, <laughs> you know, he's, you know, he don't mind anyway. Um, and to some extent, he could, you know, prove it with evidence. He could do some magic tricks. Uh, he could, um, you know, you know, he obviously has vocabulary and a way of um, understanding how to put words together and uh, create emphasis and whatnot. Uh, apparently, he doesn't, you know, there is a certain, you know, there are certain little glaring ironies that you say, where the hell did that come from? Um, because, you know, a while back he made a video kind of mocking Paul's ego because his personality had become so strange and he had this weird little laugh now, you know, and all this weird little stuff and he just became a weird kind of character. And it's kind of funny that fake Sagan is doing the same thing now. He's got, he's got a weird little, <laughs> you know, little, little funny laugh that he has now. Anyway, but it might be a business mm -hmm. surgery or something. Who knows? You know, some sort of reflex. Um, you know, yeah, no information so head. far. This uh, has back. been a big, um, big bust. Uh, benign. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, all right, what, what, uh, you know what? I, okay. I think there's nothing here. Yeah, I'm trying to be focused, but I really don't have any capacity to focus at the moment. Because, yeah. Uh, okay, not real. good enough. <sighs> Sorry, Gary. All right, you know I love you. All right, bye. Not good enough.